Praise be Jesus Christ to all the pilgrims on the journey to God. Today we dwell on the topic Christmas. Jesus, the incarnation of God. Incarnation that God assumed a human nature and became a man in the form of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Christ was truly God and truly man. In the Gospel of St. John, we read, The Word became flesh. That is, the Word has been embodied in the man, Jesus of Nazareth. He emptied himself, who was by nature God and equal to God the Father. But he took the nature of a slave and became man and lived among us, experienced every human aspects except sin. This is what we celebrate in Christmas, the story of a loving father's love for his creation, the humanity. 25th December is known as the birthday of Jesus Christ. Though it is true that Christmas is celebrated as the day of the birth of Christ into this world, it is extremely right to know that Jesus Christ is the very personification of divinity. He was born at a time when ignorance, superstition, greed, hatred and hypocrisy prevailed upon the world. In the midst of all these conditions, Christ was born and worked a transformation in the lives of people. There came a change upon the land. People started upon a new way of life. Thus, a new era dawned for the world. The deep meaning of nativity, the birth of Jesus, I repeat, it is an act of immense love by a God for his children. Each time we celebrate this event, it calls us back to ourselves and to authentic values, to what is really important, to love God and to love our neighbor without counting the cost. So the true meaning of Christmas is love. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. The most important word is whoever, rich or poor, young or old, man or woman, Hindu, Muslim or Sikh. He came for everyone. It is God's grace that prompts us to open our heart and life to His Spirit and to own and to be owned by Him. Christmas is important because we needed a Savior. God loves us so much because He is love. And so he gave his son as our savior. So we remember his birth every year as an expression of our gratitude to God for what he has done to us. His only intention is that one day we live with him in eternity. For this, we need to believe in Jesus and live a life of love. Jesus is our model to live this life of love. God demonstrated his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The sender of Christmas is Jesus, not Santa Claus. Christmas tree, gifts, cakes, sheep, and shepherd 
star and angels but jesus in the course of years we have replaced him with all the above as well as many other things like good and new dress party and lots of drinks let us give central place to jesus and his immense love for us let us share the deep joy he shares with us in his person to imitate him in his self donation and be at the service of our fellow human beings could be the sole mission of our life the birth of jesus is a historic event when his birth was announced mary his mother was told by the angel gabriel that she shall call his name jesus he had a mission to fulfill he came on earth as a sacrifice to redeem people of the world of their sins this sacrifice denotes the crucifixion of christ this christ is the biggest treasure one can have on this earth in the hustle and the bustle with much selfish interest we ignore and even condemn the belief that jesus christ the only god who can save us from sin when peter in his first speech delivered in jerusalem shared the truth that jesus was crucified and killed by the hands of lawless men the people when they heard this they were cut to the heart and asked peter what they should do peter said that they should repent and believe in jesus jesus himself once said we read it in the gospel of saint john truly truly i say to you everyone who commits a sin is a slave to sin if a son that is jesus makes you free you will be free indeed this is the greatest news of the season that is to experience god's forgiveness of our sins jesus also says come to me all who labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest that is he promises to save us from the burden of sin this is the good news of our day this is the message of christmas let us share this treasure with others for with our own effort we cannot save ourselves jesus only jesus can save us may god open our hearts and minds to receive him in our life let us cut across all barriers and lift our hands and hearts to him and accept him in our life may this christmas take us closer to jesus the savior of the world praise you jesus thank you jesus